Okay, so we are going to continue with the physics problem. This is, I call this the cop problem, but it's not really a cop. So here's, a, this is the word problem. If you read it, it'd say something like car A starts at X equals 0.5 meters with a velocity of 4.45 meters per second. Car B is at X equals zero, starts at X equals zero with a velocity of zero, but it has an acceleration. So this is what those look like. So here's car B right there, and here's car A, okay? And, and A is moving at a constant velocity, and this one starts at rest. So the question is, um, as it starts, it's going to be like this. And so the question is, when does this car, the cop, this is like the, the speeder passing by, and then the cop starts accelerating to catch up. Okay, so when does that happen? So how do we find that? I'm going to do it two. Count them. One, two, two ways. Two ways to solve this problem. Okay, let's start with a, a fresh sheet of paper. So, if you remember our, from our definition of kinematics, uh, we have the definition of average velocity and the definition of the acceleration, we get the following kinematic equation. I'm not going to write this for car A and car B. So, xA equals xA0 plus VA0 delta T plus one-half AA delta t squared. That's that kinematic equation for a car moving with a constant acceleration. Now, car A has an acceleration of zero, so this whole term is zero, but still. Now we can do the same thing for car B, xB, xB zero, plus VB zero delta t, plus one half AB delta t squared. Okay, let's just be clear here. So xA zero is the position of car A at time zero. XA is the position at some time later. So really this is delta T, this is T minus zero and T minus zero. So I can replace these delta T's with zero. So delta T equals T minus zero equals T. Okay. So this equation becomes XA equals XA zero plus VA I can write zero or I can write VA. It doesn't change. So if I just write VA, that's okay. T. And this equation becomes XB. Now, car B starts at X equals zero, so that term zero. This is zero. So I just have one half AB T squared. So here are my two equations. Now, let's just look. I got another marker here. Which one of these... Uh, variables are unknown. Well, I don't know where they meet. I don't know XA. I do know that one. I do know, I don't know T. I don't know XA. I don't know XB. And I don't know T. So that's three things I don't know. But if I go back here, what's true about the time that they meet? When they meet, they have the same position at the same time. So if they catch up, then XA equals XB. They have to be at the same position at the same time. So let's just replace this with XA. So XA equals one half AB T squared. Now I don't know XA, I don't know T. I don't know XA, I don't know T. So this equation and this equation. I have two equations, two unknowns. So how do you solve two equations, two unknowns? Well, you, the best way is to substitute. So here I have xA. If I plug in this for that, then I get one equation with just t. So this is going to be one half ab t squared plus xA zero plus va, that's an a, t. Oh, I, I meant to use my splash screen. Okay, that's the that's the title screen. We're doing the cop problem. Okay, so this is now my equation. It, the only thing I don't know in here is t. That's the only thing I don't know. So how do you solve this equation for t? Well, the first thing is to get all the t's to one side, you would think. But in this case, actually, it looks like I need to use a quadratic equation. Okay, so I wasn't prepared. Let's move uh, all everything to one side. So I get zero 
equals one half a b t squared. I move these to the other side. Minus v a t minus x a. So this is like the quadratic equation in terms of t squared. It's a b c. So t is going to be negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Now the, this a is the quadratic equation, oops, quadratic equation a, which is one half a technically. Uh, b is going to be, this is, these are not divided by symbols. B is negative VA and C is neg negative XA. Okay, so I can put that in here. Um, I kind of feel like I don't want to do that right now. Um, I kind of feel like I'm just going to plug it in. Let's just let's just put our values in. How about that? Let's get a new sheet of paper. And then I'll choose a quadratic equation solver. Um, so let's put T. I, actually, I'll do it. T equals negative B which is negative VA. So it's going to be plus 0 0.045. I mean, 0 0.45. Okay. Plus or minus the square root of B squared, which is going to be 0.45 squared, minus 4A is going to be 2AB. AB. 4ac and c is this negative xa. So it's going to be plus. Oh, I was going to put in the numbers. So it's 0.2, right? Yep. And xa is 0.5. And then 2a is just going to be the acceleration. So it's going to be 0.2. Okay. Let me crank out this in a calculator. I should have had this prepared, but I was unprepared. Okay, so let me just open up my little calculator here. I'm still here. I guess I should cut this out, but okay, so I get uh, zero, let's see, 0.45 plus square root of 0.45 squared plus 2 times 0.2 times 0.5. All of that divided by 0.2. And I get... Five point four two. Now I could also do the minus, so it actually meet twice, which doesn't seem to make sense. But okay, I think I made a mistake. No, okay, let's put it in. So all I have to do is change this to a minus, and I get negative point nine. To two seconds. And this is seconds. So of course they're not going to meet in the past. So we're going to go with this one. Now, where do they meet? Well, I can now just do x a equals zero point five plus zero point four five times five point four two. And if I do that, I get point five plus zero point four five times 5.42. 2.93 meters. Okay. So I think that's right, even though I feel like I made a mistake. But now I'm going to do this in Python. Okay, so we're going to do a different version in Python using a numerical calculation and see if we get that same answer. Okay. I've already entered some things in here. Uh, so now, this is just like a numerical calculation we did before. However, we have two variables. We have two x's and we have two velocities. 
one zero, one some value, and we one of has an acceleration, one doesn't. So instead of doing the velocity update formula twice, I'm just going to do it for one of the cars, and for doing the position update, I'm going to do it twice. So let's just say, let's just do this a simple way. While t less than three, I just picked a value. Okay. Now the first thing I want to do is to um, calc update the velocity. So car A doesn't change, so I don't need to update that. So I just need to do VB equals VB times VB plus AB times DT. Now I need to update the position of both cars. So XA equals XA plus VA times DT. XB equals XB plus VB times DT. And now I need to update time t equals t plus dt. And then we can just print t equals t seconds. Print x a, let's do both of them, x a equals x a meters. Print x b equals x b meters and run it. Okay, so of course the time is three seconds and the x position, x a is still ahead of this one. So I should run it for a longer time. I could do five, uh, let's do five seconds because we know where this is going to go. We've already done this problem. Now they're pretty close. If I do six seconds, Now XB is ahead. So what was the answer I calculated before? I said 5.42. So let's change this to 5.42. Oops. I mean, you could just do this by trial and error. And there you go. There's your answer done. Was that not simple? Okay. But maybe you don't want to keep changing these things around. So let's do this. Let's make a graph. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to actually make a nice graph. So I'm going to say, I'm going to show you how to make graphs in Python. T graph equals graph. X title equals time. Y title equals position. So this just makes the graph container. And I give it an X and Y title, but you don't have to do that. Okay, if you want to make it look nice, you should do that. That doesn't plot anything. I need to make the function. So I'm going to call this fa equals g curve color equals color dot blue label equals car a. fb equals g curve. g curve is actually a uh, line connecting points and it will plot it. So these are your functions that you're actually going to plot. It. Uh, you don't have to give it a color. It'll be black otherwise. Uh, I like to give it a color. You don't have to give it a label, but you can. And I'm going to do that because I want to. Not care B, car B. Okay, now all I need to do is down here in the loop, I need to add a data point to the graph. So I'm going to say fa.plot. Now I need to give the x and y coordinates to that data point. So the x coordinate is going to be time. The y coordinate is going to be xa. And now for the B plot, T, X, B. Now let's run it. And I messed up my thing a little bit, but there you go. So here you see car A is just moving along at a constant speed. Car B is increasing in speed and they meet, let's just increase this time to seven seconds. Because I could have run this for seven seconds and see when they cross and it's right there. And if I hover my mouse over, I get a position of 2.92 and a time of 5.3 or so. And you can make a better graph, you can do other options, but this is the simplest graph that you can make. And I think that's pretty awesome. And so do you. Okay, I think that we are finished with kinematics. So um, the next thing we're gonna do is forces in one dimension, and then we'll come back and do Max in two dimension. So, uh, again, if you if this is something that's good for you, you know, like it, 
I hate to say that, but you should. Uh, my Patreon page is down there. Um, if there's a particular thing that you want to do or you have a question, let me know. I am here for you. I will.